Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me Sean with you. In this video, I'll be covering all the necessary details regarding a fast tag from A to Z. I'm sure that by now most of you are familiar with what a fast tag is. The NHAI, which is the National Highways Authority of India, had made it mandatory for all vehicles to have a fast tag from January 15, 2020 onwards in order to promote hassle-free movements of vehicles through the toll booths. In this video, I'll be discussing the following in detail. Number 1, what is a fast tag? Number 2, how to get a fast tag number 3 how to get started with your fast tag where to stick it and number 4 what will happen if you don't have a fast tag so make sure you watch this video from the beginning till the end in order to get a clear idea of what a fast tag is So before I move on to the main explanation I would like to show you two videos number 1 is the unboxing video of my fast tag and number 2 is the demonstration video of how a fast tag works so stay tuned let's move on so this is my fast tag which i recently received and i am an atl payments bank customer and i purchased my fast tag online through the atl app and i received my fast tag to my home address after 10 days so you can just check the small unboxing video beside me and uh, while i opened this cover i got an instruction manual followed by my fast tag and while i went through the instruction manual uh, it contains a lots of instructions imposed by nhai followed by the using of your fast tag the all installation setup and installation guides are given in that instruction manual and what i came to know after reading that manual is that all fast tags have only 5 years validity after 5 years you will have to purchase a new fast tag and only one fast tag can be used for one vehicle if you have several vehicles at home make sure you purchase separate fast tags for them and my fast tag is actually a vehicle class 4 fast tag it's it's for a car there are separate fast tags for heavy vehicles buses lorries and all so uh, depending upon the class of the vehicle separate fast tags are issued and the sensors are also different and uh, the specialty of a fast tag is that it is very delicate and once you stick to the windscreen of your vehicle don't try to remove it because the problem is that once you remove it sometimes it can damage your fast tag because fast tags are very delicate and if your fast tag gets damaged you will have to purchase a new one that is the only option because while you pass through the toll booth with a damaged fast tag the sensor won't sense and you will have to pay the double amount as fine so make sure you stick your fast tag carefully at the first itself as it is always said first impression is the best impression and now let's move on to the demonstration video through this live demo video i'll be showing you how a fast tag is going to work and i'll be taking my vehicle to a nearest toll booth and i'll be showing you how this fast tag functions and i have presently stuck uh, the fast tag to the windscreen of my vehicle and this is the way i have stuck it over here and uh, i have placed it in the middle portion of the windscreen of my vehicle and remember this is my first fast tag experience and trust me i haven't done a single rehearsal before and it is for the first time i'm taking a fast tag attached vehicle to a toll booth and let's see what happens let's hope for the best
Check it up. I am presently heading towards Kumbalam Toll Plaza. That is the only toll plaza which is near my location. It's only a few minutes to go from here. I will be showing how my fast tag functions by entering that toll plaza. Presently, I have reached my destination which is Kumbalam Toll Plaza and now I will be passing my vehicle to that toll plaza. There is no much traffic over here because uh, the thing is that because of the introduction of fast tag, uh, the traffic is less over here and there are two separate lanes, one for the fast tag lane over there and the other for the main cash. We have to pay cash over there in order to pass through the toll plaza and there are also two security guards over there uh, near the fast tag lane and they are actually catching boats over there because if by mistake we enter the fast tag lane without a fast tag we will be charged double so in order to avoid that fine they are catching boats over there to alert the drivers that that is the only lane for fast tag users rest of the users should go through the cash lane so that they can pay by cash so uh, since i am using a fast tag i have a fast tag for my vehicle i'll be using the fast tag lane and i'll be passing my vehicle through the fast tag and we'll see what happens let's move on Now at present I am out of that toll plaza and I am happy that nothing uh, negative happened. My fast tag was properly sensed. I have seen a lot of YouTube videos uh, saying that Kumbalam toll booth is one of the worst toll booths because the fast tag sensors won't function accordingly. But I, I didn't have such worst experiences and it was I think they have changed all the sensors and they have modified it. They have made some new improvements to the sensors and I'm happy that uh, I was able to travel like a VIP as it is always said have a fast tag and travel like a VIP through the toll booths without waiting to pay cash so uh, luckily my fast tag functioned and I hope you have seen the video of how I entered the fast tag lane and how the barrier gate was opened for me just like a king <laughs> and now we'll see whether toll has been detected to through my bank account or not so for that you have to open your app 
I'm using, I'm an Airtel Payments Bank customer as I've said before. So uh, I'm going to open my Airtel app and see whether the toll charges are detected. So you can check in the side screen over here, in the small screen over here, so that uh, you can see what I'm scrolling inside my phone to check the balance. I have already noted the account balance before I enter the toll booth and uh, my Airtel Payments Bank showed it has rupees 521. So I had 521 rupees in my Airtel wallet before I enter the toll booth. And after entering the toll booth, as I pass through it, I checked my app again. Uh, there wasn't any alerts saying that the toll was detected. But after 10 minutes, I got an SMS followed by an alert that rupees 35 was detected from your bank account. And uh, when I checked the balance, it was uh, 521 minus 35. It is rupees 486. And uh, that's how I got the alert uh, that the toll was deducted from my bank account because of the fast tag. And, hap and I'm happy that my fast tag really functioned well. So it's confirmed that my fast tag is working well. And I'm pretty sure that it doesn't have any problems because I have got the alert saying that the toll has been successfully detected. If there is any issues with your fast tag, normally toll will not be detected and you will have slight issues in the toll booth. Sometimes they will be scanning with the manual hand scanner machine if the main scanner doesn't function. And the time taken for receiving the SMS alerts or the alerts from your banks can vary depending upon the speed of your network. Sometimes networks can be slow. Uh, in my case, now I got the alert after 10 minutes. It's because uh, I, ha I have checked my fast tag in a peak time that is 12.15 p.m. in the afternoon. And it is a time where most people are using internet in a very high quantity, in a high manner. So that's why networks could be slow. Normally it takes minimum 5 to 10, 10 minutes for getting the alert into your registered mobile number through your bank account. And now I hope you got a clear idea of how this fast tag functions. Now let's move on to the explanation part. Now I would like to go through the detailed explanation of the areas that I have mentioned before. Number 1. What is a fast tag? A fast tag is an electronic toll collection system in India operated by the National Highway Authority of India, in short, the NHAI. It enables automatic deduction of toll charges and lets you pass through the toll plaza without stopping for the cash transaction. Fast tag is linked to a prepaid account from which the applicable toll amount is deducted. FastTag employs radio frequency identification technology. It uses a wireless system to automatically collect tolls. When a vehicle affixed with a FastTag passes through the FastTag lane of the toll booth, a radio signal from the FastTag reader triggers the transponder, which in turn transmits back an identifying number which registers the vehicle's use of the road and an electronic payment system charges the user the toll. A major advantage of using a fast tag is that the driver does not have to stop while passing through the toll booth, thereby reducing traffic delays. A fast tag is a perfect solution for a hassle-free trip on national highways. Number 2. How to get a fast tag? A fast tag can cost nearly 400 rupees, which includes a one time joining fees of rupees 200, followed by a refundable security deposit varying from rupees 150 to rupees 200, depending on the type of vehicle. The tag can be obtained at toll plazas or from issuer agencies such as banks. Normally, the online method of purchasing a fast tag is preferable as it seems to be more convenient to link it with your savings account. A separate FastTag account could also be created through the FastTag app, which can be downloaded from Google Play Store. Banks such as Axis Bank, Federal Bank, 
HDFC Bank, etc. offer Fastags through their banking apps. Fastags can also be purchased online via Amazon and Flipkart. Payments banks like Paytm, Airtel Payments Bank, etc. also offer Fastags. For purchasing Fastags, you will have to submit or upload the necessary documents such as the registration certificate of your vehicle, passport size photo of the vehicle owner, a KYC document of the vehicle owner mentioning the identity and address proof. For this, a copy of the passport, Aadhaar card, driving license or PAN card can be submitted. After completing the necessary procedures, your fast tag will arrive via post in the given address. Number 3. How to get started with your fast tag? Where to stick it? When the fast tag reaches your address, make sure you activate your fast tag by going to the fast tag account linked with your bank. Without activation, your fast tag won't function. Keep this in mind. After this, firstly, remove the main cover from the fast tag sticker. Make sure you clean the surface of the windshield of your vehicle before sticking your fast tag. Then stick the fast tag on top middle of the windshield from inside the vehicle or behind the rear view mirror. Now gently press the sticker on the windshield. Always keep the sticking side of the fast tag sticker facing outside. Once the sticker is pasted in, do not try to remove or reposition the same. It can damage your fast tag. If this occurs, you will have to cancel your present fast tag and buy a new one and later activate it. Now the final number 4. What will happen if you don't have a fast tag? If you don't have a fast tag and you enter the fast tag lane of the toll booth, you will have to pay the double of the normal toll charge as penalty. The National Highways Authority of India has offered some relaxation to fast tag users. This can also be called the good news to some extent. The passengers would be allowed to travel toll free in case the fast tag is not properly read at toll plazas. If the fast tag reader machine in the toll booth shows an error and the fast tag vehicle is made to wait more than 3 minutes, then it will be offered a free trip through the toll booth according to National Highways Authority of India. I barely know how much of this news is true. Anyway, let's hope for the best. So that's all about my fast tag experience. Hope you enjoyed the video. Even though fast tag has a lot of advantages, there can be also some disadvantages. There are, not also. Because I have heard people commenting through articles saying that they have been charged the double toll charges after using a fast tag. Normally what I came to know about it is that if people are using handheld scanners, the people who are working in the toll booths, if they are using handheld scanners, there can be that mistake that is happening. Like uh, they sometimes by mistakely doubly scan the fast tag. So at that time maybe double toll charges can be. but. There is always an alert system over there. That mistake never happens. It rarely happens. And uh, one more thing is that you all have to be ready with your smartphones to get the SMS alert. Once the toll charge gets detected in your fast tag, automatically the SMS comes from your bank account. So you have to wait for that. Normally in my case, it came after 5 to 10 minutes. In the same way, only after the SMS comes only, you have to confirm that the charge has been deducted. Otherwise, the charge won't be deducted. And if such issues happen, you should definitely have the courage to report it to the concerned authorities of the toll booth. Otherwise, you lose your money. However, my first fast tag experience was smooth. I wish you all also the same. All the best. Have a fast tag. Travel like a VIP through the toll booths. So hope you liked my video, thanks for watching my video and feel free to share it among all your friends who are first time fast tag users so that they will be getting an idea of how a fast tag normally works. 
If you have any doubts, queries, suggestions or anything related to a fast tag, you can feel free to ask me. You can leave it as comments below the video and I'll be answering it. If you like to have my future video updates, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. We'll meet again in another video. Till then, take care. Bye. See you.